Hello and welcome to the City of Moose Jaws, Notorious Jawcast. I'm Craig Hemingway, Communications Manager, and an aphids only edition of the Jawcast right now because those little uh, bugs are, well, they're making messes around the, the City of Moose Jaw. To talk about that, about uh, some ways to, to treat the mess and the aphids themselves is our City Horticulturist, Sarah Regent. Hi, Sarah. Hello. We we kit, we're catching you indoors right now, and uh, you've been mostly outdoors here this week, right? Yeah, that's right. Today is uh, one of those days to catch up on paperwork. Yeah, right on. Well, listen, summertime is your time to be outside and checking up on uh, things around the city in terms of uh, trees and plants and those sorts of things. And um, the aphids have been uh, very prevalent this summer, uh, much like they were not too many summers ago. Why are the aphids so bad this year? Um, there's a couple of reasons. The main one is hot, dry weather. Aphids do very well when it's hot and dry out, um, and they can reproduce very quickly. So if the aphids are doing well, you know about it pretty quick. Um, we also have lower ladybug populations this year, largely due to the cold snap that we had over the winter. Um, a lot of them just froze is the, is the going theory as, as to why we don't have as many ladybugs as we would typically expect for this type of year. Right. And and so the ladybugs control aphids how? Um, so they actually eat the aphids. A uh, ladybug can eat up to 50 aphids a day, which is quite a lot when you consider the size of a ladybug versus the size of an aphid. So they're very effective at it. And because they're hunters, they're also very good at finding the aphids on the plants. Okay. And then uh, and the other mitigating factor, often in some years, and I think I recall this not too many years ago, we went and uh, the city purchased a number of ladybugs and we were uh, getting pictures of you releasing the ladybugs. That was not available this year. How come? Yeah, that um, actually has to do with weather in California, um, particularly the wildfires. They've destroyed a lot of the habitat for the ladybugs down there. And that's where we actually harvest ladybugs for the commercial ladybug industry. Um, so because they're having problems there, there just isn't the supply for anyone to be able to purchase extra ladybugs this summer. Sure. Yeah, you walk around uh, some of our many well-treated areas in Moose Jaw and you look around the sidewalks and you think, did it just rain here? Uh, and in fact, it, it did not just rain, but that is the, I guess it's the residue, it's the the sticky stuff the aphids release. What is that called? That's called honeydew. And you're right, it's a sticky stuff. It's basically like a syrup or like a sugar water because um, aphids feed by sucking on the plant juices. So it's pretty much just water and sugars. And you get enough aphids doing enough feeding, and that just starts to coat the leaves and actually starts to drip down. Okay. So the aphids are basically like in, in, uh, a young teenager. that All they're drinking is like sugary sugary drinks. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Uh, so it, it's, it's not very complicated though, if, you know, cause again, this stuff is not only just on the sidewalks, but, but homes, vehicles, those sorts of things. I know it's quite a nuisance for, for people, but it's pretty easy to take off. Yep. Uh, dish soap and a little bit of water does a really good job. Um, because it is basically just sugar water, um, you mostly just need to dissolve it. A little bit of soap does help that, um, might be a little bit of scrubbing if it's something that's dried off, but generally removes without too many issues and doesn't cause a lot of damage really it's just an annoyance are, are aphids on every single tree or plant or do they stick to certain kinds no that's kind of a tricky question because we say aphids and that actually encompasses many different species of aphids and different species will be particular to certain trees or certain plants or groups of trees and, or plants um, so right now we are seeing a lot of aphids that really like the elm trees but you can get aphids on Basically, anything that is leafy, they'll go after it if it's the right kind of aphid. Okay. And so if you're seeing, you know, again, that the, the honeydew on your on your sidewalk, obviously, that's a pretty good sign that, yes, uh, aphids are on your trees and, and that. And so how do we get them off the trees? Easiest, most eco-friendly way is to wash them off. Get out there with a hose and a, you know, a good stream of water. If you've got one of those ends, that gives you a little bit more pressure, but not enough that you're going to strip the leaves. That's actually going to wash a lot of the aphids and their honeydew off. Um, they're pretty wimpy. They don't actually grip the tree all that well, um, which is part of why hot, dry weather encourages them, because a good rain is actually going to knock off a lot of these little critters. Um, but things like ladybugs are tougher because they're bigger. So you're going to be pretty gentle on them because we really want to encourage those predator populations because they do such a wonderful job of eating the aphids and keeping them from getting to levels where they're an annoyance to us. Sure. 
Uh, anything else we can do to try and control aphids if we think they're a problem? Um, depending on what uh, what kind of situation you're in, if they're a problem in your garden, yellow sticky traps can be quite helpful as well. Um, I generally steer people away from any kind of insecticide because they are so tough on the ladybugs and also the lacewings and the parasitic wasps, which help control aphids as well. And those populations are quite a bit slower to rebound from something like that than the aphids themselves. Um, so often, if you are to go do a blanket insecticide, you'll find that you actually have a worse problem in a couple of weeks because you've taken out everything except for maybe a couple of aphids and they manage to reproduce real quick in the absence of anything to control them. Okay. Anything else we're missing in the discussion about aphids and aphid control? Um, the only thing I would say is that if you're seeing a lot of honeydew dripping, take a look, see if your tree is starting to look a little wilty, a little drought stress, um, because you can get enough aphids, um, especially in the heat we've had and looks like we're going to get again in a couple of days here. Um, that can actually cause some drought stress just because they are poking so many holes in the leaves. So it might be a good idea to give your tree a really good deep watering. Make sure that water gets down below the grass roots. Take like a little trowel or something and just check that it's down a good couple inches to make sure that the tree is getting the water and not just the grass. Okay, yeah, you're right. As we record this on the 12th of August, we're looking at potentially 37 and 36 on the 14th and 15th. So uh, yeah, maybe get some watering in before the weekend. Uh, Sarah, Regent City Hort Horticulturist, thanks for all this information on aphids. I don't think you've ever talked about aphids in this great detail ever. So hopefully it's been informative <laughs> for anybody that happens to be watching. Uh, one final thing, a lot of homes and, and yards looking pretty great here midsummer. Um, we know uh, a while back we closed the entries for the annual beautification awards. When are we handing those out? That is happening August 23rd at the regular city council meeting. Um, so it starts at 5.30. Beautification awards will be right near the start for anyone who is interested in coming out to find out the winners this year. Yeah, you can certainly uh, come to the meeting that night here at City Hall or, of course, watch on uh, Shaw Cable. And the live stream link is with the city council minutes and meetings page at moosejaw.ca. City horticulturist Sarah Regent, thanks so much and uh, enjoy the rest of your summer. You too.